a little bit on the, some of the pillars, the organization and administration, of course, which is mandatory. Uh, we're looking at things like your bylaws, your financial procedures, your physical plan, your organizational structure. Do you have these in place? Uh, we look at uh, you know how you run your business. I mean, these are basic things for chambers that we look at. When we look at policy and advocacy, uh, it's are you developing? Me? Are you putting policies forward to the Manitoba Chamber AGM to the Canadian Chamber? Uh, you, you know, and as I mentioned, it doesn't matter what size you are. You're typically doing this work in your own communities. Your member programs and services. Um, you know, what sort of services are you providing to your membership? These are some of the qualities that we're looking for. Different sizes provide different things. Do you do networking events? Do you do luncheons? That's what we want to know, how you're running your local chamber. The different things that are optional, the governance in terms of uh, the different procedures for your organization, are you following them? And basically what you have to do is you're going to get a binder and you're going to, all you're doing is you're sticking paper and say, yes, we meet this criteria. <laughs> You send it to us and we get that information and we can make some decisions based on that whether or not you, you we feel you've met the, the, the proper process and we'll walk, work with you to make sure that you become an accredited chamber of commerce. We look at you know the other optional one, strategic planning. You know, whether chambers are doing this. I know not everyone has a chance to do this, but I think what we found out today is that there are resources out there for chambers and small chambers to be able to do strategic planning. You might have thought it was too big of a, a task in the past or the cost might have been a prohibitive so that it wasn't something you were looking at. I think we found over the past couple days that it's not prohibitive and we should be looking at that and it's key to chambers making sure that we're doing things in a certain way. There is a cost. Small chambers, $150 to go through the accreditation process. Other chambers, it gets a bit larger and once you become a, a chamber, once you've gone through this process, the reaccreditation process is a lot simpler and it's a lot easier as well. So it's not to say that this is something that you can put together over the weekend. It's going to take time. At the end of the day, it's a big binder. It's a lot of information. But it's an important process, I think, as we try to, and we mentioned today, strengthening local chambers. And it gives you that ability to look at the way you're doing things. Are you doing things as chambers should be doing? Are you going through proper processes? And if you're not, well, then this can tell you, well, here's some of the things that we need to do. And here's some of the benefits, and there's a perfect example of why it's important. Um, and you may have heard a couple of years ago uh, when there was big floods in Alberta. One chamber specifically, High River, Alberta, was destroyed entirely, lost everything. Their office, everything in their office, computers, you name it, they had nothing. But what they did have is they'd gone through an accreditation process, which is a binder, which has all your information in it in terms of your bylaws, your organizational structure, all the different things that you do. So they could at least take something away uh, that basically helped get them back on their feet. The other reason why I think this is important, and it's specifically for local chambers, you know, and I've seen it in, in sort of the travels that I've, when I go around the province, um, and you know, the chamber executives, and I'm, I'm glad we set this organization up, but an important thing is, is they don't give you a manual when you become a chamber manager, here's how you run a chamber. But if you have gone through this accreditation process, and let's say you can leave behind this binder that tells you how to run your local chamber and some of the process that you're going through to the next person that's coming in or the next board that's coming in, that's gonna have immense help for that chamber moving forward. So this is a process I would encourage you to get involved in. If you wanna to go to the website, www.accreditationcc.ca, go through the process, become an accredited chamber. There are two accredited chambers in Manitoba right now that you could talk to about the process if you're looking for help. The Winnipeg Chamber of Commerce and the Manitoba Chamber of Commerce have both gone through the process and are accredited with distinction.